What is up everyone, it's your man Evil Andre here, and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about something. It's been a lot of different things I've been considering making videos on, but after playing Black Ops 4 for so long, you know, all, all this Modern Warfare information coming out very soon, and the game, possibly a beta coming out next month, I've come to this conclusion. I figured I'd make a video on the reasons why people say Black Ops 4 sucks. So... A lot of times people like to say that people don't give these games a chance. You know, a lot of times you'll see somebody who, when they play, they'll be like, oh, this game is okay. Or like most Call of Duties, you know, we kind of overlook a bad card. I don't know why I said it like that, but we overlook a bad card if we have a great game. So say, for instance, I'm a guy who has a decent amount of good games, but I have a bad game where I'm just dying of bullshit left and right, and I say this game is shit. Meanwhile, somebody who has a good game, that same game, will probably say some shit like, no, nah, this game doesn't suck, you just suck, or some shit like that. This is my, you know, this is just my term of thinking when I think of this game. First of all, here's, the, here's some of the reasons why Black Ops 4 sucks. First of all, as we can clearly see, when the game first came out, the game was focused more on Blackout than it was on multiplayer. With that being a big thing at the time, multiplayer wasn't getting a lot of updates, there were a lot of weapons running rampant, Every time they buff something in this specific game, they always over buff it. They don't under buff anything. And here's another thing too, right? Um, whenever they add a new weapon to this game, it's usually hella, hella OP. This graph that you see me using in the video, this is a pretty balanced weapon. It's probably one of the few cases where it wasn't like that. But, you know, it's just, this is a laser. This is pretty much an ICR with a graph skin on top of it. That's all it is. But, let me just put it this way. Now, at first, when the game first came out, they had this little supply stream that everybody would, that would go up to like 200 tiers, and you would get a weapon at the end of it, and usually towards the middle. Well, slowly but surely, they lowered the amount of tiers that you get from like 200 to 100, 100 to 50, and damn near nowadays, it's almost going up to just like 25. So it's like, you know, they, they lowered it down, and now, when you play this game, you're getting, you know what I'm saying, you're getting less weapons, and they give you a trash-ass bribe. Now, the reason why Black Ops 4 isn't that great is because of multiple things. First of all, the specialist balance. I know you hear this a lot. People are like, well, Black Ops 4 probably could have been a better game if they would have balanced the specialist. You see, in, in IW, in BO3, these games where they had specialists or rigs, you know, yeah, they could be annoying at times, but they weren't as annoying as you were always dying to some bullshit. You know, there wasn't a piece of equipment in the game. Well, there was... I think overclock in both of those games, but there wasn't a piece of equipment that could charge your shit faster. Like the fact that somebody could be walking around with equipment charge, constantly putting up torque barricades, constantly putting up razor wire, constantly putting up um, what trip mines or mesh mines as they call it, and constantly calling in dogs is annoying. And the fact that, you know, when they was creating this game, I feel like they were trying to make it very team-oriented. Ori but I feel like where they messed up with that is the fact that this is Call of Duty. Nobody plays Call of Duty as a team. Which leads us to believe that when they created this game, they were focused more on the CWL aspect of it than actually the, you know what I'm saying, the actual public lobby thing. First of all, I would never understand what went through Treyarch's mind when they created this game and they gave it without a V-set. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. A V-Set probably could have saved this game because it would have made even the worst of lobbies better because at least you could see where everybody's coming from. You know, it's so much shit in this game that counters stuff. You know, scrubs who get streaks called on them, Rock Zero and Cold Blooded hacking your streaks. Um, the freaking default Titan FMJ2 class, which is extremely OP as people just mow down strike team members, snipers, nest attack choppers, hell even gunships. The shit is just irritating. FMJ2 should have never been a thing. And while we're on the, the talk of, you know, these second tier attachments, it sounds great on paper until you realize how unbalanced some of them are. Stock 2 on the SOG, double high cal on the rampart. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, you know, um, what, double grip on ICR at the start of the game was meta. There was literally nothing out gunning it. I feel like if this would have just been your average Call of Duty where every gun had the same attachments, there would have been more chances for people to actually have a good time. But instead, we get these, yeah, let's make every gun, you know, seem different. So everybody has the same class set up, but it's just differently prepared. And then my thing with this game, weapon balance, right? Now, things like the Maddox and ICR ran rampant. And I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, they still are really good weapons. But then over time, they started adding in these DLC guns. You have the Damon. The switch blade, you know what I'm saying? The peacekeeper, 
you know it's 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 just like come on now and let me not get started on probably the like honestly this is probably the most OP gun in the game right now the stingray but the stingray itself isn't isn't good like that gun is hot ass but when you get the operator mod the operator mod turns that gun into the number one gun in this game when it comes to killing potential which to me just doesn't make any sense who what was going through somebody's mind when they said yo let's add an operator mod that makes the um stingray practically turn into boy a fucking uh what, a pack of punched weapon and of course you know you hear the ambulance coming by it's nothing new but um another thing that i can never seem to understand while i'm playing this game is the um you know the way that the, i feel like every specialist inclines somebody to play a certain way torque and nomad require more campy ass play ruin is more of a rush heavy i feel like you can rush with pretty much majority of the specialists in this game hell even my one the things that annoy me is like the specialist not weapon but more so the specialist like passive the specialist equipment like you know like torx razor wire mesh mines people going around the map choosing where their teammates spawn making people spawn on you after you kill somebody like all of this stuff becomes annoying but see, another thing that really irritates me is the fact that they limited guns to certain attachments because we get this OP shit that makes no sense. We get pistols with high caliber, pistols with some, like, like what, skull splitter? Skull splitter is like high caliber on fucking steroids. Literally one shot to the head and you're just dead immediately. I just think that shit is so trash. Then you got, what, let me see. I remember Akimbo Saul who's running rampant, but I mean, Akimbo Saul isn't that bad. Spitfire with wildfire. We got fucking what is it? What is it? And it, it's just it's just some attachments that I just don't understand in this game. Like how come high cal one and two is on the rampart and the rampart has no recoil whatsoever? It's like even even without a grip, the re if anything that should that gun should be put at a disadvantage because it doesn't have stock. But when you can kill faster than most guns in the game, you basically already know what it is. And that's another thing too. Why is it that when they created this game, they didn't stop to think about okay, some weapons kill faster than others? You know, Augur, DMR, Damon. Any gun that has high kill 2 in this game is melting the shit out of any gun. Also, I feel like sometimes the reason why people don't like this game is because this game is a sweaty ass game. This is the only Call of Duty I know where everybody's jump shotting around corners. People are LT spamming. And I swear to God, I did not see that until this Call of Duty. Everybody's LT spamming, trying to abuse aim assist with the Maddox. You know, it's just like, oh man. The, the saw, ever since it became his scan, I see that gun a lot more. Hell, I even use it a lot more. I feel like a lot of times the reason why people say this game is ass is because they come in contact with a weird play style, whether that's some sweaty virgin who hasn't stopped playing the game and claim he's a GB sweat, all these fake ass TTV sweats who actually change their name to TTV being cringy as shit, or you know what I'm saying, you got people like me. Um, I just post, I put YouTube in my emblem and I put it inside my, um, of course, my clan tag, but I'm not really that much of a sweat. But if you agree with anything I said, please should have drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new. And with all that being said, guys, my name's Evil Adre. Smacking lobbies is my hobby. And I think we can all agree that at this point, we're all hoping that Modern Warfare comes out as soon as possible because Black Ops 4 is complete shit. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.